Hello, very warm welcome. Driver ratings for the Belgium Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekend. It was an emotional weekend and a very poor Grand Prix, has to be said. Hamilton wins, dominated from start to finish. It was a poor Grand Prix. Let's get into the driver ratings. Sebastian Vettel, 0. P14 qualifying, Ferrari are a shambles, slow beaten by alphas i mean it was it was painful to watch really vettel just getting overtaken like he was driving an f3 car leclerc zero uh sebastian vettel finished 14 quali 13 for the race 13 for quali 14 for the race for leclerc uh you wouldn't think he won in 2019 very weird strategy by leclerc bad pit stops when it's going wrong, it really does go wrong. Slow, bad pit stops. Shocking weekend for Ferrari. And they've Monza's up next with straight after straight. Roman Grosjean, two. Uh, power unit issue in practice. Uh, P17 quali, P15 the race. Hardly saw him on the TV. But he beat his teammate all weekend. Kevin Magnussen, zero. Power unit issues along with his teammate in practice. Qualified last, went through the gravel trap. Last all weekend. Last in qualifying, last in the race. Haas, dog shit, to be honest. Latifi, one. Another guy who we hardly saw on the TV. Uh, didn't even know he was actually racing because uh, we never saw him. P19, quality, P16, the race. Latifi needs to up his game. George Russell, 5. P15 in quali. Gets through to Q2 again. Again, he's performing. He deserves a chance in the top team. He makes Q2. Beats his teammate again in qualifying. In the race, Giovinazzi loses it. Russell tried to avoid it. Hit Giovinazzi's tyre. Pull it in the fence. Glad to see everyone was okay and could walk away. Giovinazzi. Uh, I'll have to give him zero, I think. Driver error, huge crash. Twice in two years he's lost a car at Spa. And yeah, 100% driver error. P18 in quali, let me just check. Where did he get in quali? P18, binned it in the wall in the race. Kimi Raikkonen, eight. Spa specialist, great race, P12. Beat both Ferraris in the race and Giovinazzi. Like, beat him in quali and the race. It was a great weekend for Raikkonen. Really does love Spa. Bottas, 7. 0.5 off Lewis in quali. P2 in qualifying. P2 in the race. Nowhere near Lewis all weekend. He made no mistakes. But he, it, it's simple. He cannot take the title fight. He'll get poles. He'll win races. But he won't fight for the title. Lewis Hamilton, 10. World Champions pole lap. Dominated from start to finish. Championship leader by 47 points. Seven-time world champion. Absolutely dominant. He is a world-class driver. And he's closing in on the all-time wins. Lance Stroll, 5. Expected more from Racing Point. Expected better pace. P9 all weekend for Lance Stroll. In the race quality. Struggled on his tyres at the end. Perez, 5. Standard for racing point. Expected more, more pace. Very odd strategy by Sergio Perez. Everyone pitted. He stayed on the softs. Went all the way to the back of field. Had to fight through. And he nearly caused an aeroplane crash. Squeezing Pierre Gasly. Bit like he did on Ocon when they were teammates. Was on the limit that by Perez. Lando Norris, 7. P10 quali. P7 in the race. Only McLaren to race with Sainz's issue. A solid drive by the Englishman. Carlos Sainz, 8. Now, yeah, I've given him 8 because his luck is a joke this season. Driver of the season last season. He can't catch a break this season. He has a world-class uh, Spanish Grand Prix. And his looks doesn't even get to race. He has a great qualifying. He qualified P7. And he didn't even get to do the race due to an exhaust issue. And the team that he's going to next year looks absolutely dog shit. So, horrible, shocking look for Carlos Sainz. Max, 8. 
P3 all weekend, lonely race for the Dutchman, the best he can do, and he beats Albon all weekend. Alexander Albon, five. Um, average, average weekend. Beaten by the Reynolds in the race, beaten by Ricardo in quali. He qualified fifth, finished sixth, not good enough by Albon. Was on the medium tyre, faded, not the best of strategies, but not good enough that by Albon. Kvyat, five, pretty standard, beat Gasly in qualifying, qualified 11th, finished 11th, another one who struggled on the tyres at the end. Pierre Gasly, eight, huge emotional weekend for the Frenchman, one of the most touching images I've ever seen in F1, when he laid flowers for his friend Anton Hubert. What a touching image that was, and one of the best images I may use that as the thumbnail because it was an unbelievable image. Ricardo and Gasly were my stars of the weekend, along with Lewis, but I expect Lewis to do that. He had a special helmet, one year anniversary for his friend. Pierre Gasly put the best overtake in the race, p passing Perez down into the bottom of Eau Rouge as Perez squeezed him. He drove superb. Everyone else got a free pit stop. He couldn't pit because he was on the hard tyre. So Gasly had to go long, went all the way to the back, overtaking everyone. It was a fantastic drive by Gasly. And he did Anton proud, as I have a fly in my room still. Yeah, what a superb race. He got voted driver of the day as well by the fans. Daniel Ricciardo, 10. Stopped. In FP2 due to a hydraulic issue. But he was the star of the weekend I think. He's P4 in quali. Yeah P4 quali. P4 the race. And he got the fastest lap on the last lap. Probably one of his best weekends. And Renault could really do well at Italy. Esteban Ocon 10. Very strong. P6 quali. P5 in the race. Renault looking sharp. Renault looking strong. Huge points for the team. And that is his best performance since he's come back to Formula 1. Let me just run down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got all the teams done. So there we have it. We have a couple of days off and then we go to Monza. Qualifying reaction, race reaction, driver ratings for the Belgium Grand Prix. An iconic circuit delivered a shocking race. But there we have driver ratings. Comment down below. We'll always reply. And Lewis Hamilton dominates the Spanish Grand Prix. And Ricardo and Gasly shine.